What I like to do is show you guys how to find an equation for a line, um, given the slope, actually, for an equation, or for a line that's through a point, uh, given the slope. So what they've done is they've given you a point, one comma zero, and a slope of one. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this graphically, and I'm also gonna show you how to do it algebraically. Um, we're pretty well versed in my class of working on how to find this algebraic. We know the point, this is actually gonna be your x-intercept, which is one zero right here. And if I wanna know what the slope, I know I can rewrite this as one comma one. So really, I could say, well, it's gonna be up one over one, and it's gonna look something like this. However, we're not asking to graph the problem. Um, they're asking find the equation. And we know an equation for a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So what I need to do is I need to find out all my missing parts. Um, we're gonna, we like to leave a y and an x in there. Um, so all I need to figure out, I need to figure out what the slope is and what to figure out the y-intercept is. Now on this graphing, you could kind of figure out, by looking at the graphing it, I kind of already figured out that the y-intercept is at negative one. However, let's check this graph, let's check this algebraically to go and see if that works. So, um, if I know my slope is one, I can plug a one in for y. And usually we don't write a one in front, but I'm gonna write it just so you guys can see it. Um, now, I don't know what y is, I don't know what x is, and I don't know what b is. So that's a lot of variables that I have no idea what they are. However, if you guys remember my definition of a line, it's a set of infinite points, correct? So there's an infinite number of points that make up a line. And we're given one set of points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in that one point that I know to find out what b is. All right? So I know that a point has the form of x, y. And this is going to be 0 equals 1 times 1 plus b. 1 times 1 is obviously 1. Now I'm going to subtract the 1 on both sides, so I get negative 1 equals b. So now what I've figured out is now I know what b is, which ends up, like I said, where my graphing ends up equaling negative 1, which was correct. So now that I know what the slope is, and I know what the y-intercept is, I can now write my equation. So my equation is y equals a uh, 1x, or just x, plus not b, but a negative 1. Because my y, b, y intercept is a negative 1. And my slope is a 1, which we don't always write in front of the x. So that's how you find an equation through a point given a slope.